everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, of course, guys, I know I haven't been on for a little bit. I've been running all over the place trying to get some stuff together and, of course, bringing some new content for the year coming up. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and start this video. This video, we're going to be doing a One Tool a Week guide gift guide from me myself what i think probably benefits you in the trades or anybody in the blue collar world or maybe anybody at the house so with that being said let's get to it the first thing that i would definitely recommend you buy or if you're looking for somebody to buy a gift idea and they're in the trades then i would definitely start off with maybe some socks i know it sounds weird oh they always get me socks whatever the case is but these are going to be the darn tough cool max socks which i wear a lot and i do love them i've done a previous video on them and they've still lasted and i've gotten them wet i've gotten them all over the place and they are still some of the most comfortable socks that i've been using of course you got to read the description on there and make sure you wash them the proper way that way they last you a very long time and like i said these are going to be the cool max down here in texas it does not get as cold as up north but we're starting to get a little chilly down here but if you're up north they do carry um some thicker socks that way your feet stay nice and warm now these socks alone are going to set you back 23 dollars and 95 cents for one pair yes that is one pair but remember guys what is that costing you you are going to be on your feet almost eight hours a day and you're going to be going up the stairs up ladders whatever the case is this is going to be super comfortable and of course they do dry a lot faster as well so that's going to be one of the items let's go ahead and zoom back out now another item that i strongly suggest purchase anybody out in the trade this is probably going to be a tape measure now of course this is a milwaukee there's a ton there's a ton of tape measures out there but just any new tape measure is always great to have just because the numbers are going to be visible and it's just going to last you longer and it's going to be retracting nice and smooth. Now, they might have a favorite uh, tape measure that they use all the time, but uh, and nonetheless, they might have a helper that probably can't afford one. Or if you're looking for an apprentice or somebody that's starting off in the trade, you always need a tape measure because you're going to end up dropping it. It's going to break. Uh, whatever the case is, they're going to cut it. The apprentice is gonna forget it up in the rooftop whatever the case is guys this one alone is the milwaukee it's gonna set you back for about 29 dollars and 99 cents so a tape measure is always good to have and that's gonna be number two now let's slide that to the right over here now number three is going to be these babies right here i use the 32 degree boxers right here briefs which are super nice to have and super comfortable and i like to stay uh really really fresh with these uh they're going to be super comfortable on me and when i'm outside especially during the heat during the heat they are very good breathable and you're not sweating like crazy and of course they're gonna have some wickening which is going to dry up even faster whenever you're outside and sweating now these alone are going to be in a pack of four these are going to set you back for $35.99. I know you're probably thinking like white clothes. They don't want clothes. Well, if it's up to me, if I was getting some stuff as a gift, I would want to get something that's going to actually help me outside in the trade, in the elements, whatever the case is. Now, another thing is I am going from price uh, lowest to highest. So just keep that in mind. There is going to be some items in the same category that I show two of them, which is going to be a little bit pricey, but with that being said, again, these boxers alone are going to be great and they're going to keep you nice and comfortable and they're going to set you back at $35.99. Now for gift idea number four, that's going to consist of this baby right here. I like to drink coffee all the time or every morning and that's going to be this baby. I went ahead and purchased the Yeti Rambler uh, cup. 20 ounce now keep in mind they do have bigger ones but whenever you get to the larger yetis uh they're probably not gonna fit inside many cup holders i learned that the hard way as far as purchasing the 30 ounce rambler i believe uh, i was having a hard time in my vehicle to have the cup holders but they do sell adapters but to avoid all that this is plenty for what i drink and as far as drinking coffee you don't want to drink too much coffee because uh you don't want to get all that uh jiggery or have all that 
caffeine on you if you drink a bunch of caffeine power to you but it does keep your coffee nice and warm or if you want some cold water it is going to keep your water nice and cool for the most part i use it for coffee and i do like the sliding that it's going to keep that magnetic lid and it's going to stay closed um again i use them all the time my wife loves hers as well and she uses it all the time this is just a great little gift idea that way you're outside and it stay everything inside the content is going to stay warm or it's going to stay cold this one alone is going to set you back at $35.99 as well online so keep that in mind everything that i post up is going to be in the link at the bottom just in case you have any questions on there go ahead and leave me in the comments below so with that being said, this is item number four. Now let's go ahead and jump to item number five. Item number five is actually going to be two of them. One of them is going to be this baby right here. This is going to be the Streamlight Stylus Pro, which is probably one of my favorite lights to use in the trade. Uh, this is just going to be all around great. You go ahead and just press it and it's going to light up. I believe it's about 350 lumens that it's going to shine you. Now, another cool feature about this light is that it is USB and you go ahead and you charge it from a USB standpoint and it's a rechargeable battery. Some people don't like rechargeable batteries. I myself love it just because I don't have to be purchasing batteries all the time. And also, it's a little bit better for the environment because you, have, you don't have to discard all those batteries that you use up. Now, it, as you can tell, it is the size of a pen almost, and it's going to be super light. Now, it's not the strongest flashlight in my arsenal, but it's very great for diagnosing and just taking a look what's around or just to see a quick glimpse underneath or on the side of a building, on top, whatever, the on top of a ceiling tile. It is going to be very nice. Now, this light alone is going to set you back at $51.95 which again this is the Streamlight Stylus Pro very nice pen light very great to have you're gonna love it or if you choose to have something a little bit stronger then you might want to go with the Streamlight Wedge I recently purchased this one and made a video and I ended up loving it just for the size now this light is going to offer you uh, a little bit stronger lumens which it's gonna have a little burst if you could see it, that burst is going to give you about a thousand lumens, which is very nice and powerful. It's going to have a charging port in the back, which is going to be uh, the USB-C, I believe. And it's all going to be waterproof resistant as well as a Streamlight Stylus Pro, which if you take a look at the sizes to compare, it's almost the same size, but just a tad bit, a little bit stronger uh, power to your light. So with that being said, this, this wedge... Streamlight is going to set you back at $86.04. You can't go wrong with a flashlight, guys. In the trade, you use it all the time to see what's going on or just to troubleshoot and diagnose. And this is just a great item to have on you or EDC fans, EDC lovers, or if you don't know what EDC stands for, it stands for Everyday Carry. So let's go ahead and slide these over to the right side and jump on to the next item. The next item, guys, I went ahead and used it and I absolutely loved it. If you watch my channel, I really don't use too much DeWalt items or purchase a lot of DeWalt items. But this baby sold me on it whenever I purchased it. This is going to be the DeWalt wearable Bluetooth speaker. I'm sorry, guys. This is going to be the DeWalt wearable Bluetooth speaker, which is going to cost you about $53.95. So this is super neat. It's going to have a little clip. And if you can see my hand, look how small it is. It's, I'm not saying it's going gonna, it's gonna to power up or bring the whole building as far as music-wise loud, but it's going to connect to your Bluetooth as far as your phone, and you're going to be able to listen to anything probably within your vicinity or maybe just about five to ten feet around you which if your helper's with you he could be also be listening if you're up in a lift if they allow you to wear music or have music on you you could just clip it on it also has a little magnet in case uh, you don't have anything to clip on you could just hold it on there you're gonna have a little power button volume and control on the sides and another cool feature is you could also take phone calls so if you have to be in a hands-free environment uh, you could take your phone calls and have it transferred to the bluetooth speaker which is very nice i really like the size just because i could go anywhere if i'm working underneath a basement if i'm working underneath a building on top of a building on the side on a rooftop unit whatever the case is you could just stick it on the magnet or you could have it on you your pocket and have music on you all the time i really do love music and love listening to music if you're in the 
trades, you probably have somebody listening to music all the time. So with that being said, guys, strongly, strongly recommend the DeWalt wearable, wearable Bluetooth speaker. I'll have it in the links below. That way you can take a look at it on Amazon. So that's going to be number six. Number seven, let's go ahead and bring these out and we might have to slide the camera just a tad bit out. And this is going to be number seven. These are going to be the true work work pads. Now keep in mind they have the T1s, T2s, and T3s. This is going to be the middle T2s. I usually get the T2s. These are going to set you back about $79.99. The T3s are going to be for war. It's going to be for colder weather. That way it keeps you warmer. And of course they're going to be thicker. That way it keeps you warmer on that part also and they're going to be more expensive they're going to set you back for a hundred dollars the t1s are going to be more for outside during summer t2s since texas it really doesn't get too cold yet uh, i end up going with t2s and they're great just because i also use them for summer they just work great all around now they're going to have multiple pockets because if you're in the trades with me you're going to learn that you always need pockets to store things if it's your wallet if it's your cell phone if it's some uh Fittings, if it's uh, whatever the case is, pens, tape measure, paper, um, they are going to have an extra little stitching on the side. That way you can put tape measures. I also have my pen lights on there, my flashlights. Uh, you're going to have some pockets right here. You could strap up whatever uh, you want on there. And if you wear overalls, you also have an overall hanging section. That way you could put your overalls and your pants aren't falling all the time now the material is going to be like a synthetic stretchy material which i do really find comfortable and inside it's going to be a nice little soft fabric now like i said these are the t2s and just keep in mind guys if you're gluing a lot it is a synthetic uh synthetic material the glue is going to stick and bond to these pants so just keep that in mind on there in case you're wondering now like i said they're going to be a bunch of pockets I made videos previously. These are still the same ones that I've had for a good while, which goes to show you they last. The only time that a pair has actually cut on me is because I was running some lines uh, and some rebar ended up catching and cutting my pants. So just keep that in mind. Of course, rebar is going to cut almost anything, even your skin. So with that being said, these babies alone are going to set you back at $79.99, which is going to be my suggestion for number seven in case you're looking to purchase some items for somebody that's out in the field working in the trades. So let's go ahead and move that. If you're a welder, you're probably not going to want to use them because they're synthetic and probably catch on fire. So the next item is going to be is number eight. Well, and this is going to be the wear a tool check plus uh, set right here, which if you're wondering, why would I even use that? Uh, this has come so much in handy at my house and also whenever you're having a hard issue with some units that you're trying to get to uh, as far as the 5 16ths or quarter inch bolts these is going to be a very nice little set so when i use it at the house i'm usually putting together furniture if it's from ikea if it's from living spaces whatever the case is this is going to be great also for me edc i have a bunch of knives a bunch of edc fidget stuff i end up using this to take it all apart you go ahead and you open it up you're gonna see all the sets that it's going to come with i won't break everything down they do sell a standard and a metric set so whatever set you're looking for it's going to be the most common for you this is going to be the metric i'm sorry the standard and it's going to come with half socket sets down and of course they're all color coded it opens up you're going to have all the bits right there you're going to have a little screwdriver right here their craft form you're going to have a little ratchet set up here that way in case you need some certain angles to get in there and for the ratchet set that way you can use the bits if you need an extension you have an extension right here that's going to have the quick connect on there and it slides off now this set alone is going to set you back at $80 but again guys for all you homeowners or DIY people this is such a great set to have just because it comes in handy and in a clutch that we have everything set instead of having all the bits all over the place this is just such a nice little set to have so keep that in mind guys the world 2 check plus made it on my list this year which i'm sure you'll probably end up liking it and if you need it it has a little clip you could you could clip it on there or if you want to put it on your belt 
you can clip it on your belt so with that being said guys let's go on to the next item so the next item that i think everybody should probably have or give is going to be a pen but not just any pen guys all right you're talking about one tool a week guy we look at all the crazy stuff out here so the first pen that i'll probably suggest you looking at and again this is multiple items in the same list because i think everybody should purchase a pen or have a pen on them because sometimes you have to sign paperwork or jsa's osha certificate uh confined space whatever the case is you have to sign you're gonna need a pen so this is going to be the tactile turn pen which is going to set you back 99 dollars which if you you're wondering $99 I'll probably just go buy a cheapy pen which that works too go get a pen a cheapy pen it doesn't matter but this is just going to be a tactile turn pen let me see if I could get it to the camera focuses on there there we go guys so of course it's gonna go slide down and you're gonna have it open and then just clip it and it's gonna close back up it is made out of titanium so it is gonna be very strong and rugged and in case you need some EDC defending you're gonna be able to defend yourself with the pen as well because the pen's probably not gonna fold it's probably gonna break and you probably break some glass with it so with that being said guys this is going to be the tactile turn pen which I really do like and enjoy they have some crazy other uh, pens out there if you like to see my collection leave the comments below I might make a video of all my collection tactile turn pens now if this isn't enough and you want something a little more pricier as well then you might want to look at the grismo sage so this is going to be the grismo sage right here and this baby alone is going to set you back about 380 dollars now you go ahead and you click it down and you press the top mechanical and it's going to go back up You're, it is made out of titanium as well you're going to see all the laser cut or the cuts inside and there's just so much detail to the pen very nice pen if you're wondering why do i have all these crazy pens i like edc if you like edc and you get into my world it's a big black hole guys there's no going back but it is very nice and i love writing it i write a lot all my videos i write them before i end up making them so just keep that in mind so like i said guys you can go with a pen number nine is going to be the pen if it's a tactile turn pen or a grismo sage uh if you don't like any of them you might want to look into some other pens that they might like so with that being said let's go ahead and slide these over to the right now the next one is going to be number 10, which I know you're probably like, what could be number 10? Um, well, for me, guys, one thing that I never thought that I would actually be using a lot in the trade is going to be my watch. Um, I did not purchase an iWatch. I ended up getting a Garmin uh, watch right here. This is going to be the Phoenix 6S, which is going to be a Sapphire uh, uh sapphire base right here glass that way it doesn't crack but i will say this is something that i should have purchased a very long time ago how would that help me well just keep in mind guys sometimes i'm working on return or supply lines and everything's gonna be wet sometimes i gotta cut into the lines and i have water coming out so uh draining it, it it beats having your phone on you if you're getting a phone call it could go straight to my watch and i can answer it or decline from there or i could see who's calling me if it's important i could answer it or just the fact i wake up i could see the temperature what's what the temperature outside is it raining is it not raining i get to plan out and and schedule my day accordingly to the weather uh also it tells me a bunch of other stuff how many steps i'm having and also i could download gps maps which it gets crazy originally it cost a lot now you can find it for 319 dollars they did come out with the 7 s which that one's gonna cost you 800 dollars and that was more or less the price range when i first purchased it but in order for you to know if you're asking ah, it's gonna get wet it's gonna get damaged since i've had it i had i have showered with it almost every day and it's still functioning and working just great and i take it off to clean it every day and it's just phenomenal so again guys i strongly recommend the garmin phoenix watch if you're in the trade uh, i just needed to answer phones if you wanted to do more fancier stuff then i'll probably end up going with an iWatch. but just keep in mind that this battery lasts about 8 to 12 days and that's with constant emails constant text messages going through it sometimes it lasts longer because a ton of people are messaging it calling me so that's very nice guys so let's go ahead and slide this to the right and last but not least guys everybody in the trade always has one i'll probably recommend getting a knife now it does not have to be one of these this is going to be the koenig's knife 
right here and this is gonna set you back for about six hundred and twenty dollars you could probably go with just any other knife if it's a benchmade if it's a um uh crk chris reeves knife if it's a uh, uh there's so many knives out there spyderco whatever the case is i have a huge knife collection i just decided to bring this knife to show you the knife and that way you know what options are out there this is just such a beautiful knife and i had to carry it i carry a knife with me all the time now it does not have to be a knife it could also be a uh a utility knife so just anything because in the field you're either going to be cutting boxes cutting plastic opening up stuff peeling back insulation whatever the case is guys you always need a knife now also you could also use a bottle opener as a knife so that always comes in handy you know after work right you gotta you gotta hang out with the boys so like i said guys let me know what y'all think in the comments below and as always guys thank you all for the support and thanks for watching one till a week guys.